Bureau of Immigration said Wednesday it is speeding up deportation cases and is eyeing bail for foreigners. Currently detained in Tagig to decongest the facility and stop the spread of COVID-19. The agency said it is taking steps to reduce the number of inmates held in the alien detention center located inside the Bai Warden facility at Camp Baigong Daiwa in Bikutan. Immigration Commissioner Jamie Morant ordered the Bureau and Hashtag 39's legal division to resolve deportation cases against these foreigners as soon as possible, in order to reduce the risk of COVID-19 outbreak among the foreigners confined in the facility. Morant added that bail may be offered to these illegal aliens, as well as an option to be released through recognizance, which will allow temporary freedom for the accused without posting a fee pending the court and hashtag 39's decision on pending cases. So far, the Bureau has released two pregnant women on bail, while a third expectant mother has been sent to her home country. Immigration officials arrest foreign nationals caught smuggling illegal drugs and other illicit goods to the country as well as those with criminal records abroad and those proven using fake passports or travel documents in the country and hashtag 39 s ports the agency is also in charge of accosting overstaying foreign nationals including those illegally working in the philippines currently visitors are not allowed to enter the alien detention center while strict rules on proper hand washing and sanitation have been imposed in the facility jail wardens have also requested the International Committee of the Red Cross as well as foreign embassies for face mask donations. The buy and hashtag 39's move followed COVID-19 infections among prisoners at the Quezon City Jail and the Correctional Institution for Women in Mundaluyong. The Supreme Court has yet to decide on the petition calling for the release of inmates who have a high risk of contracting the disease, particularly the elderly and those with pre-existing medical conditions. The nine inmates and nine jail personnel in Quezon City have been transferred to an isolation center in Payadas. While those from the women and hashtag 39's correctional have been transferred to a quarantine area inside the new Bilibid prison compound in Muntin Lupa, Bureau of Corrections spokesperson Gabby Shocklig said. Read, 20% of Bilibid inmates die every year due to overcrowding, Hospital head says Shocklick said that while most jail complexes have wide common spaces, he admitted that the bigger issue lies within prison cells. We have wide spaces in our reservation. Marone Lang Pote on Constraint O Challenge SAMGA Building, SAMGA Dormitories Kasi Hindi Silap Videng Mag Social Distancing O Physical Distancing We have constraints or challenges in the building, inside dormitories because they cannot practice social or physical distancing. Shocklick told CNN Philippines and Hashtag 39, New Day. He added that there are mechanisms in place to set up isolation tents for suspected COVID-19 patients within jail facilities. A petition to release high-risk inmates with medical conditions as well as first-time offenders of petty crimes amid the COVID-19 pandemic is pending before the Supreme Court, as some human rights groups call the country and Hashtag 39, as congested detention cells as ticking time bombs for infections. For now, the High Court has instructed first and second level courts to fast track the evaluation of detainees who may be set free just to decongest jail cells in the country. Bureau of Jail Management and Penologi spokesperson Xavier Solda said earlier this month that inmates are safer inside jails, especially with local transmission of COVID-19 among Baranais and towns in various parts of the country.